everybody, welcome back to my first, my third recording of um, the first episode of my Kerbal Space Program series. In this video, we're going to be building our first rocket and going over the base house. Um, so, I'm in science mode, you can follow along in sandbox, but I think science mode is better because um, it teaches you a bit more about the game, and it's not too difficult, it's really just managing your science. Um, there's no, like, really risk to if you do something wrong. So, um, you'll see, when you start your game, you'll have this little, um, message here from Gene Kerman. You don't really need this, um, this is just a basic thing. You, you can read this if you want, but I'm just gonna press things. I got it. And here's the KSC, or the Kerbal Space, the Kerbal Space Center. The Kerbal Space Center. Kerbal space or something. Whatever. So, um, you've got, I believe, ten buildings here. Um, the runway, the space plane hangar, the astronaut complex, the administration building, the R&D building, mission control, blah, blah, blah. But you don't really need to know all these for now. Uh, some of these are locked, like the, uh, the administration bu building and mission control, because in career mode, uh, you actually need these, but in science mode, you will be good now. You can also do this in career mode, but I recommend just doing it in science, or if you really want sandbox, but uh, I recommend doing it in science. That's what I do, but, um, yeah, or dangerous. Okay. Let me move you a bit closer. Sorry if this is a bit loud. Um, just move my mic closer so you guys can hear me better. But oh, it's actually really good. Just all right, cool. That should be good. So if you pull down the right click, you can you can, can move and WASD, and then you can scroll through. But that is anyway. We're going to be focusing on. About three buildings in this episode and pretty much the whole series. We will go into maybe a, about two more. We might go into all of the ones that we can access. But just a quick overview. But we'll be focusing on three in this episode and probably next few ones. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building or the VAB. That's what I call it. Um, the launch pad here. Then you've got the R and D research and development or the R and D facility. This is so if we click on this really quickly I'll just show you guys. This is your tech tree. So we have currently zero science points, but for five we can buy basic rocketry and it'll give us all these parts. Now I'm gonna say this probably a ton but um a lot of these parts you won't have. I have a modded version. So as you can see, I have a fuel tank here. You won't have this. You won't have this. You won't have this. Or this or that. So you only have um, three parts. But and here you'll only have a few. But I'm gonna try to not use them. And uh, so, so sorry if you know it appears here. That I can't really do anything about that. Um, other than in uninstalling the mods, but I of course don't want to do that, but um, if we press leave here, um, we will be in the main building. So we're going to go into the VAB here, and this is the vehicle assembly building, this is where we get, this is where we are going to be building all of our, uh, all of our craft, um, all of our rockets, so yeah, so this is it, hold on, let me just... I'll be I'll be right back. Hold up.
Oh wait, sorry about that. Um, hopefully, um, cut that out in the editing. Um, but I'm not one of those YouTubers that like goes through the. I I do watch my videos when I edit them, unless they're like 20 minutes long, but, which this one's probably gonna be. But yeah. So sorry, sorry. This is probably gonna be a really long video, but honestly, like a lot of them are. So, you're gonna get this second thing. I think it's pretty much the same, pretty much, but... So, here, um, there's a couple of different panels. Here are all of your options, like launch, save, open, new, and if you have the Steam version, you can export this crap to Steam. And then there's the craft description here, so there's a description and a name. I'm just gonna name this Basic Craft. How about we just name this yeah. Why is this so is it, that system here is really annoying. Half the time it doesn't even let you type. Hello? Type okay. What? It's literally I have to go to here and then I can type one letter into here. Oh. First crap. Yeah, sorry, but you you don't have to do this necessarily, but Okay, so here Again, I do actually disable my mods here. Oh, I actually don't have my mods. So yeah, you will, I, I, I don't have, you won't have parachutes, solid V as you probably won't have, unless you have mods, but basically just focus on parachutes and, um, parachutes is just an easier way of, it's usually in utility, but I have a mod that puts in parachutes, so it'll be in utility, but Anyway, we're talking about parachutes and event stuff, and <laughs> this recording is also already separate. So, put down your mark one command pod. The command pod will always just, you can click on it and it'll place down, but the rest part of the parts are a bit different. Anyway, now you'll see that the camera is actually unlocked. So, if you hold down right click, you can do that. If you scroll, you can go up and down, and then if you hold shift and you scroll, you can zoom in and out. Um, here. So, you're gonna want to go here and get the Mark 1 command pod, and then go to engines where you're gonna see the RT5 Flea Solid Rocket Booster. Now, if you click this, you'll see that it's like this, it doesn't actually just automatically attach it to the rocket. And you see these little green nodes, you can attach that. You can attach them. So, you can either attach to here or here. I mean, I don't know about you, but this seems um, a bit more safe and probably more efficient too. So, yeah. But th this is a solid um, rocket booster. This is solid fuel, but solid rocket booster or SRB. And these are usually used for like side boosters um, or for small rockets in this case. Not, not in real life. I mean, they're, not, they're not just going to strap you on <laughs> to this. Um, contraption, but yeah, you can get pretty high with this. And so, once this is all, once this is ignited, you can't stop. There's no like throttle control. So, that should be almost it. So, we have these basic fans, we can place three of them. Quick little tip so, instead of doing this, you know, symmetry and like rocketry and a lot of things. Is very important. So instead of doing this, placing it three or four times, kind of like four, if you want to make it look like one of those like rocket, like like rockets when you're like a kid, you know, like, I don't know. I, I'm probably not gonna put it up on screen because I'm too lazy. You know, like the little three like unrealistic rockets that they. I don't know, but. We're gonna go into here, and this is the symmetry window here. So you can press this until it's on four, and then you'll see it has four copies. So press it right there. That should be good. Right there, and I can just click it. I'm, I'm, there's a shortcut to do this. I don't know what it is. I need to look up like half the shortcuts. But um, next, we're gonna go into science. So this is how we're gonna unlock the rest of our. Um, parts. So, place three. You can do it like that. That should be good. 
Yeah, it's gonna be hard to pick some not collide. Just like, you know, just put four. You're not gonna need four of them. Well, you shouldn't. I maybe couldn't do four. Then you wanna put one of these Mark 16 parachutes. This one usually would be in utility. Again, it's in parachutes. Hermie, uh, you can also do an onion the extra module if you'd like instead of the normal capsule, it's bigger, but it's just not really realistic. Um, so press the save button, you can name it, you can just do uh, you can just put a description if you want. This is only really if you press open here, I think. I actually doesn't show that. <laughs> It'll show that in like the in a other window, but press launch here, and I'll go over some of the basics of launching your rocket. Because it's not just you know pressing one button. This game is more complicated than that. But luckily, it isn't like one of those board games where it takes like two hours to figure out how to do it. So yeah. So we're kind of focusing on just grabbing science here. Um, we, all, we also want to fly the rocket, but... Oh, also, something I always forget to do in these videos. You see here, this is the staging window. It should automatically be staged here. But if this is here, and this is here, that's good. If it's like this, or like this, just press this plus sign and drag the booster there. That means that this is going to go first, and then when this is, when this has run out, you can stage it. It doesn't like automatically stage, don't worry. Um, and then the parachute will come out. There is no method of separation, we haven't unlocked that yet, so we're kinda just gonna be floating down with all of this. But yeah, so we're gonna, I, I know this is a bit advanced, but if you want more science, press this EVA button. You can also do multiple launches if you don't wanna do this, but then right click on jet. Again, this is a bit, um, you don't have to do this, but Go here, press EVA reports, and press keep experiment, and take service. Sur surface sample. Yep, and then press B to board it. Okay, next we're gonna do one of these. So press observe mystery goo. And you can just keep that, and then press here. You can do crew report. I know this is kind of just like, you know, like. Not like pro, but like advanced stuff where I'm just like, I'm trying to speed run the game, you know, trying to get as much science as possible, but it is important. Next, you're gonna wanna press this SAS. SAS is stability assist, it just helps you fly your rocket. So then we can press space in a second. So I'm gonna go over what'll happen. I'll press space, this will go up. I'm gonna press maybe hold D, and that's gonna pitch us over kind of like this. Instead of going up, it's going to go towards the ocean where we will hopefully splash down somewhere off the coast here. I have this little candy thing, but you can just do the science experiments. It'll say mystery goo observation, so um, we're not doing that yet, but you could just do observe mystery goo when I click that. It'll automatically do it. But yeah, I do recommend installing mods when you're when you've like done a bit more of the game, but press space and as we oh, sorry, but press space you know I'll keep that up. So I'm gonna press T here. And so that's actually this is bad. That is our site and that's our trajectory and then I think that um is with um drag and stuff. Yeah. Factors and drag. I mean, that's our trajectory without atmosphere, I believe. So, we're gonna, now, this little thing here, this is the nav ball. Also, this is, like, I mean, it's pretty easy. This is the atmosphere thickness level. This is when you're, there's, like, no atmosphere. This is your vertical speed. This is your altitude. That's your time in the mission. Uh, you won't have this. And then there's, like, this. And like the wall if I press W. Anyway, you'll see this X little thing here is going over there. Now press retrograde. This will point us like this when we go we're 
where we are going down. And now you can just do a mystery goo. Here. Oh, I'm not sure where I did that. Oh, this is actually really bad. Okay, this is bad. This always happens, I swear. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so at around 6,000 meters short, we're gonna play the main shoot. Yeah, as always happens. This is why you don't tilt it over. Actually, I probably shouldn't aim for the ocean, because there's gonna be a lot of like. So at 1,000 meters, this will deploy at, it's, I believe it's at 700 for me. And you can press this, this will just be the ground altitude, but it's not really that much more than the than sea level, because, let's see here, no pun intended. And I can do another mystery goo, I believe. Yep. Then you can press the period and comma keys to do time warp, this will just make it faster, and slash to return to the... No, but you can just do the comma. And there we go! I'm gonna do one more mystery goo observation, and you should be good. So, I know this was a lot. There was like mystery goo and a bunch of other stuff, but once you get all these basics down, it's really not that hard to progress. Um, I mean, it's not that hard. You can figure this out yourself. Um, yeah, so I'll probably do a video on how to install mods in a while, but this is pretty much going to be the end of this video. Um, you want to press, you want to put your mouse up here and then press recover vessel. That'll just give you the science. If you press, there's another method kind of to do it, which is escape, recover, I think, and then recover to launch or revert to launch or VAB or whatever. But that'll actually, that won't save your science. So I've done that a few times, but here. It'll give you a science report and the crew report. That's oh, and yeah, it'll close, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know this was kind of long, but um, I mean they're all gonna be kind of this long. I was watching, I forgot what his YouTube channel name was. It was like I honestly forgot, but um, and he has like 17 minute videos. I'm like. Hey, these are long, and then and now, like, recording your own, it's like a minute is like super fast. Like, it, it, like, a minute feels like you know, like 10 seconds. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where we're gonna be going over unlocking signs and getting a more advanced rocket. Bye.